What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna go over how I use Tarot. Um, I call it Tarot, some people call it Tarot. Um, I don't know who's right, but essentially this is a DeFi protocol that's on Phantom. And the cool thing about it is that you're allowed to do leverage LP farming. So in most traditional markets, you deposit your LP into a farm and you just set it. In this one, you can actually do leverage on it, right? So instead of putting $10,000 in it, you can leverage it up to 6x, which I don't recommend. Um, I leverage between like 2 and 3x. So instead of that 10,000 being farmed, I'm getting 30,000 or 20,000 basically farming, right? So what that does is it just increase my rewards. So just jumping into it, into the Terrets price right now, it's 144 on Sunday, January 16th. And as you can see, the price has dipped down quite recently and it's going back up right now. 65% still down from its all time high, which is a good sign if you're like, try and get in now, right? Um, I also think the fan ecosystem is about to blow up. So you'll see why I make certain decisions today with how I'm using my Terrot. But this is Terrot, market cap is only 31 million, right? So in terms of cap sizes, I think people would call this um, like a small cap right? Like a big cap would be something in the billions, right? So this is only 31 million. It hasn't even reached a hundred million. So this protocol could really take off, right? And so once you get to Terrot, this is what the dashboard looks like. You can see that they have $227 million locked in, which is pretty crazy because their market cap is only 31 million. Relative to some Ethereum protocols, you'll see the market cap is actually higher than the amount they have total locked in, which is interesting, right? So theoretically based on off of that one stat, it's undervalued, right? But there's a combination of things uh, when trying to figure out if something is undervalued or not. So just don't base it only on that one metric. And essentially these are different lending pools. Um, I used to be in FTM Terrett uh, because it has really good uh, rewards, right? You can get up to 303 if you're leveraged at a 3X. So the pools I'm in right now is I'm in this one, FTM Tomb, because I like, I'm betting on Phantom and I'm pretty bullish on Tomb too. So I get a pretty good, instead of just, you know, parking it inside of Tomb's website and getting their APR, I'm able to leverage it up towards 178, which is like a lot better than just 124, right? So it all adds up at the end of the day. And then the other farm I'm also in is, yeah, FTM Boo. So FTM and Boo like move together in price. So that's why I like them too. And so for example, instead of just getting 41 uh, APR, right? So APR and APY is different. So make sure you understand what the difference is. APY means it's constantly compounded, right? While APR is just like the flat rate. So APR will always be lower than APY. Um, and there's APR to APY converters too, if you're looking to do some research on what the APY rate would be. Um, I like looking at things in APY, but now like different protocols use different things. So I'm able to kind of understand it. So today, right, in my like Boo, I have, I have 24,000 inside uh, between FTM and Boo. So that's split here. Right, and then I took out thirty thousand dollars of debt for a total of fifty-four thousand dollars. I'm farming with, so instead of farming with just about twenty-four thousand, I'm farming with fifty-four thousand, um, because I do think I choose a lower leverage. A lot you will see on the Terra website, you will see people go up to like three, four, five x, but that requires me to like constantly monitor my liquidation prices and the prices of like the protocols. Um, and I just don't have time for that. All right, so if this was my full-time job, then I would be more willing to do that. So when you get in here, you would just hit like deposit um, and you would put your LP pairs in here. To get the LP pair in the first thing too, you would go to uh, Spooky Swap and then create an LP. There's videos on how to do that. I'm not gonna jump into that right now. You guys are smart. If you guys are watching my channel, I know, I'm sure you guys know how to use Google, you know how to use YouTube. Just search how to make an LP. Right, or and then how to make an LP on Spooky Swap. If you're trying to do that, and I go here, I hit the leverage button, and then I leveraged it to I think 2.25, and you'll see that it's at 2.7x right now, because Phantom and the Boo token move different in price. So if one moves up 10%, then there's going to be um, basically a difference in like the balance and the TWAP ratio. 
So essentially, I have that in here. And if you don't want to do leverage, you can always just lend too, which is pretty interesting because right, right now, if you just put in Phantom, you can get 24% APY. And if you just put Boo only in, you can do 41%. But I like to be a little bit more degenerate. I wouldn't say I'm super degen, but uh, so I hit leverage. So I am currently getting about 115% APR. And they give you the breakdown of like what the borrow fees are, the trading APRs, the boo reward tokens, the farming APR, and how much it costs to borrow money, right? So 73% is like really high in terms of borrowing, but when the math works out, it's still 115 right which is better than if i was just to do it on my own without leverage so once the rewards start coming in you can just go to the farm page and hit claim right so i'll hit this claim button my metamask will pop up and then this is you know you just hit confirm um, i have a hardware wallet a trezor so it's gonna hook up to that and it's being buggy right so I don't know if anyone else really runs into this issue, but like sometimes I have to just replug in my Trezor device, try to do it a couple of times, which is really annoying. Um, I tried different wires. So what I'm going to do, so sometimes when you're running into issues like that, you can try using a different browser. All right, so I'm going to open up my Chrome browser um, and try to connect it there. I'll switch the screens over in one second. Right now I'm in the Chrome browser instead, instead of the Brave browser. So with the Trezor, there's like numbers that pop up on your screen. You just kind of enter the pin to go through the process. I'm not going to do that on the screen just because it's personal uh, data. Ideally for safety, you don't want to show that. And then what's happening now is on my hardware wallet, it asks me to confirm the transaction. And if I to confirm how much the gas fees are, um, and if I really want to send it. So I hit the claim button um, and with Phantom, it's decently fast. So it claims pretty fast. And if you ever get confused on if it went through or not, you can just click on here and then you'll see that it says pending. And then once that goes through, then it'll show up in your wallet, right? So what I'm going to do with my tarot is, is actually, because I'm starting to think that there's going to be a huge Phantom uh, run up. And the thing with Terret too, so this is like a farming reward token. So a lot of people sometimes will just sell this off into whatever token they want to buy. So this is printing you Terret tokens, and then you can convert it to like USD, you know, more Bitcoin, more Ethereum, whatever you want. But because I'm bullish on what Terret is going to do probably in the next few weeks, I was like, why don't I just like stick it into X Terret, right? And get a little bit more money. So what I'm going to do is hit stake. I don't think it went through yet. See. Okay. Now it went through. So if I hit stake now, oh, it did. Should be more. I have some in my wallet already, so that's why you see that amount. So if I hit stake now, so yeah. So now I'm gonna stake all my 600 tarot, and so basically to give you guys an idea of like how much money I'm gonna put in. So 600 tarot at today's price is gonna be 876 dollars. So $867 hit that. And this is gonna be my first time doing it. So you always have to approve the transaction when you're basically going this process. It's gonna cost me nine cents in Phantom, which is like basically nothing. If you can't afford nine cents or you're like really mad about paying nine cents, I don't know if you should, you know, you probably should try and make some more money or depending on your circumstances. Cause Ethereum, you're paying like $25 just to like approve something, which is, you know, a pain in the ass sometimes. So my device is being weird again. So that means I have to go through this whole process. You can, and then so once it goes through, it doesn't matter if you hit X out of it, it's like going through, it's in the queue, right? And then I'm also gonna go ahead and just, can I approve this? Yeah, no, I don't have X tarot, that's why I can't approve yet. All right, so we'll just wait for that. Usually it takes less than like 30 seconds for a transaction to go through. Basically, it'll be like green and confirm like this, like once it goes through. Ta -da. And then if it doesn't, you got to give it a little bit of lag time. And sometimes like I'm impatient and I don't want it to, some protocols, their UX isn't the best. 
this is like one of the things I don't like about DeFi, and I feel like every chain is trying to work on like making this better. Our protocol, I don't know if it's the protocol or chain or whatever, but that's how it is sometimes. So now I hit max, all right? Now, and then after approving the contract, right? The smart contract, I'm allowed to stake into the smart contract. So this is me staking, and then I hit on my device to confirm it. And then I'll show you what the device looks like real quick. So the device looks like this little thing. Um, and then it just the screen changes and you just pop the click the button in order for it to go through So right now my transaction is going through right so it went through awesome So now you can see I have a equivalent of about $870 of Terra inside of here and Interesting about this. So a lot of protocols and build these different Legos sometimes so because I've X Terra I can restake it and earn actually FTM so instead of earning another 22% APR I can also earn 22% APR and earn a 30% on Terra Phantom. This is just their equivalent of Phantom. And I remember I was doing some research. I was like, what is TFTM? Basically, it's just like you're earning, they're putting that Terra into Phantom pools on Terra in the supply area, right? So in here, Len is considered supply. So, and they'll automatically move it between different bots to give you like the best average, right? So, Instead of just leaving it there, I can stake it. Let's see, I'm X Terra didn't load. So sometimes, like I said, you just have to refresh the UI. All right, so all that X Terra got approved a contract again because this is my first time using a contract. So you want to be careful with like what protocols you like approve, right? Because if you approve the wrong smart contracts, which has happened to me before in the very beginning, they can steal your money basically, and you know. Nobody likes getting robbed. <laughs> so usually like after I click stuff, I like to click here and then see it go through. And then so now that's done. See, that's what I'm saying. Like the UI doesn't update sometimes and that's like the annoying thing about it. So instead of waiting for it to load and whatnot, I just hit refresh and then it automatically kind of just syncs with my wallet again. I hit stake, hit max, and I'm hit stake. So what this does is I'm going to be rewarding and getting more Terra and I'm going to get be getting more Phantom. And I'll just keep in here for the foreseeable uh, future, probably at least like the next couple of weeks. So it's just earning me some extra dollars. I mean, it doesn't really hurt, right? It's just money, right? So you want to put your money to work. That's like my thing in DeFi. Instead of just hiding, uh, buying Bitcoin on Coinbase, buying, on, um, buying Ethereum, just like holding on. And then the price go up, like put your money to work, right? And that's what I do. So that's the overview of Terret. Um, that's how I claim awards. And for now, this week is what I'm doing with it. Sometimes I'll sell it, get more cash like USD, and then I'll put it in a USD farm if I think the market is like like too hot, right? So like right now, Phantom is like is is hot, but I still think it's about to run up because of the different catalysts that are about to happen. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to join my Discord. Uh, I post different like tips and things that are going on. Uh, looks like the cops are outside. Basically, one of the things that I do want you guys to make sure you guys see is basically Phantom, right? I just posted today. I'll post like different tips and tricks about what's going on in the market. So I think Phantom's is in a good range right now. It's probably gonna be testing all time high and then price discovery soon after that. So after something breaks the all time high, then we have no clue like how far it can run up, right? B33 coming out with Andre and Danny, which is pretty crazy. You should look into that, Google it. Could be a game changer. The Bitcoin conference that's happening this week is like bought by Henry Ye, who is a big Phantom advocate and he's one of the big speakers there. And so I know he's gonna mix in like Phantom and pitch that to the audience too. The centralized DEX that's also partnership with like Binance is coming out with Felix. That's what Henry is pumping out. And also, if you guys haven't seen the little moon cycle thing, check it out. So every time Bitcoin, I think it's like every time it's a new moon or something, which is going to be tomorrow or full moon, one of those prices always go up generally in that like 15 day range uh, till the new, the next moon comes and everything. So that's like a little bit of woo woo, but like if you look at it historically for the last year and like a half, it's been pretty accurate, which I think is crazy. And then there's some other holdings that I have is the FTM, LKR, Spirit, Boo, Beats, Jice, SAC, and Tune. That's what I'm holding in the Phantom ecosystem. But yeah, hope this video helps. And you know, consider using Terra.
See you guys around.